going on guys it's Wally and welcome back to the channel so I know we were on a kick with dirty loops for a while and unfortunately I know that all the songs that were on that list that we we're gonna listen to have now you know kind of come to an end but we'll wait until dirty loops comes out with a new song or you know with a new cover or something like that and we'll get back into it but for now you know I was kind of at a loss for what what I was gonna react to next so I figured I'd go to you guys and so I looked down in the comments you know I know I asked in the last couple of videos to, to drop a few recommendations and all that and you guys definitely did so one of the ones that I found uh, that you guys was that was really heavily recommended was Jacob Collier uh, now his name actually sounds a little familiar to me I don't know if he was in a band that I used to listen to or something like that but um, I don't remember anything specifically that he's done. So hopefully, you know, listening to this song will kind of will kind of kickstart my memory a little bit. But uh, the song that we're going to be listening to, which is one that probably the first one that I think I saw down in the comments, was uh, "Time Alone with You" featuring Daniel Caesar. Uh, again, Daniel Caesar is a guy I've never heard of before, so I'm really excited to see you know what they have. You know, it's you know a lot of the uh comments that i saw were underneath either jonah's music or dirty loops so i'm kind of expecting it to be along kind of the same path so uh so we'll definitely see hopefully we'll kind of explore this together and kind of see what they have to offer but uh we'll get into the video before we do as always if you are new here or just haven't yet please consider going down and subscribing if you do enjoy the video please make sure to go down and drop a like too but uh let's get into the video Look how they're moving and like in sync with one another. If you wanna get sunshine, walking on the rooftop. Okay. I'ma go get some. Time alone Yeah, we could go I like that dancing. Harmony's got. Soak up the disco. I dig it when I get that. because this is not what I was expecting at all like at all like I I don't know especially after listening to Dirty Loops earlier like I I don't know I was totally expecting something different but it definitely has a very like mellow like kind of hip-hop vibe to it I really like that it's it's not something I normally listen to so being able to hear it especially coming from people who you know obviously like similar music that I like like this is really cool this is really awesome I have to say I love the harmony that he kind of has with himself I I'm assuming that's just like layered like I don't know layered on top of each other as opposed to like some kind of effect or something like that I don't know you guys would know better than me so please let me know like exactly what that harmony exactly is so uh but either way dude it sounds great and I, I uh, uh, Daniel Caesar dude he sounds really great too man these two guys together really incredible Slipping on the mudslide. Really relaxing we could too. Cut the chit chat. Give me that. We could skip the border. Swim around the ocean. And knock the puss like when you give me that. little baseline right there that was really awesome a little aesthetic change with the music change I like that a lot 
right, bust out the trumpet. Let's go. Hearts grow heavy. So good, so bright. You're on me. Give me that. Oh, nice, star bright. Shines down on me. So good, so bright. You're the one playing all these instruments, too. At times we may find hearts grow heavy. So good, so bright. You're on me. I know you wanna. Okay, hold on. I got to ask. I think I saw someone in the comments said that you know he plays like all these instruments too, including the trumpet, which it just speaks right to my heart as a former trumpet player. Come on, but dude, this is incredible. Like again, obviously he's recording all these parts separate from one another, of course. But dude, the fact that again, someone who's so multi-talented, someone who's so talented at so many different instruments, it's it's really incredible. It's great to see. Dude, it just it blows my mind every time. But dude, I, I, I gotta point this out too, man. The, the music video, this is so simple, but just so, it just fits the aesthetic so well. Like it fits the music. Like if, if this was like a more, uh, you know, like a more chaotic uh, music video or something there, were, I don't even know. Like this is just the perfect video for this song. Like truly, it is so calming. And you can tell they're just kind of chilling there. They're just chilling. And that's kind of how you're feeling at home. I love it. I love it. Get to Nirvana, play all day in bed with me and teach me how to love ya. You wanna be my partner, but baby, please believe me. Loving me ain't easy. I'm gonna Ooh. need some time with you. Oh, I love that right there. That was incredible. Who knows what we're gonna do? All I hope is you don't leave. What a transition. We could cut what the, the hell? Chat. I dig it when I get that. I'ma go get some. Time alone with you. Time alone with you. Time alone with you. Dude, holy cow. Dude, that was incredible it, it truly truly was that definitely not what i was expecting like at all like it at, at all and i love how you know of, of course at that last little break i was talking about if you know the music video was more chaotic like it wouldn't fit with the music but of course as soon as the music changed and the video became more chaotic it, it just fit again like i, I, I uh, that was really great and the fact that you know i know he plays you know a lot of those instruments at least i believe so at least i think that's what i read but uh now he does that, you know, the whole video itself was really incredible, dude. It was, again, for something that I, you know, had never heard before. And in fact, you know, now that I think about it, actually, I think I've, I think I've heard of him before. Because I remember I, I was listening to one of the NPR, like, uh, Tiny Desk concert things, the, like, at-home ones. 
uh, because of everything that was going on over the last year. Um, and I think I remember him d being a part of that too. That's where I think the name sounds so familiar to me. But either way, dude, he is so talented. And, and you know, I think it's the little kind of like xylophone, like the chime at the end and kind of at the beginning that kind of made me think about the NPR because for some reason that's the kind of aesthetic that I think about when I think about NPR. But, um, but oh my gosh, dude, like, the, I don't even know what to say about it. Like, again, like this is not something that I would have picked up myself. So thank you guys for recommending this to me I'm, I'm definitely going to have to listen to more of this i know that i saw a couple other songs that were down in the comments that i'll definitely listen to because this is this was really great again something that's so outside of i don't want to say my comfort zone but from my little box you know that i usually kind of listen to so i'm uh this is really awesome i'm super excited that i got to listen to this hopefully you guys enjoyed the video too hopefully you guys enjoyed the song I'm, you guys were the ones that recommended so hopefully you guys did as well but uh you know, uh, during the week, you know, we're going to do a couple of the uh, uh, songs for lovers coming up. So definitely ones that you don't want to miss. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the song. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, go down, drop a like. We'll see you guys next time.